So Spotify issues a stern warning on fake streams. The company promises to withhold royalties and remove content of those who are gaining fake streams. So, uh, man, we got to dive into this because, uh, like me, you talked about a little bit offline. Uh, this has been done before. Uh, do you think this time anything is going to be different? Why do you think they're doing this or repeating themselves on this matter now? Like, what's going on with this? Um, I don't really see an an uptick in this. There, maybe there are more artists that keep falling for fake streams. Uh, and by the way, fake stream guys are just if you notice that. Uh, your plays keep coming from like, let's say you buy a promotion package from somewhere and all your plays come from like the same 10 locations. Mm -hmm. It's like only 10 cities. Um, some of the cities they often use are Buffalo, New York for some odd reason. It'll be like Buffalo, New York has 2000 listeners from this campaign and then bigger way bigger cities will have far less listeners than just buffalo new york it'll be like a weird pattern like that that's just not natural yeah uh and we've talked about this probably going back about three years now the two or three years that you can find videos on our channel uh or articles on our website that talk about hey here's how you spot these things uh because even before Spotify catches them, it's they have a lot of moving parts. So it's it's oftentimes like we're the ones actually trying to go out and find good organic playlisters and do real streams. So we're finding it prior to them finding it. Mostly they're just focused on their editorial playlist. And my my guess for their motive would be that if they have more promotion opportunities, like they, they come up with more advertising on Spotify Ad Studio, they're just trying to con conserve their their revenue. Um, the problem with that, just to go on a side note, is that Spotify Ad Studio is just not as good right. as Facebook ads or Instagram ads or Google ads or Microsoft ads are pretty. There's a lot of them that are better than the Spotify Ad Studio. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're going to have a tough time with that. Mm -hmm. um, but on the main topic of like why they're doing this, uh, how to spot the bots and bad streams, pretty much uh, just to reiterate, if you haven't seen our other videos, if you see a somebody promising like you're going to get an enormous amount of streams for a very small amount of money, that's usually a bad sign. Like people think that if I get 10,000 streams for $10, that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. 90 plus percent of the time there, there may be one guy out there <laughs> who's, who's like <laughs> grown his playlist and he's doing that. Uh, but I, we ain't found them. Yeah. So it's, it's typically, uh, you are not going to make all your money back from just the streaming revenue. Mm -hmm. That's why we talk about so much other stuff on this channel that you're, you're going to have a way better chance of structuring yourself like a business, yeah. uh, having products and services on your website, yeah. having, uh, maybe your own coin, your own creator coin, social token, cryptocurrency. Um, like doing all that stuff is how you actually make the money back mm -hmm. for, for the bot thing. It might look appealing at first to like find the person with the lowest cost promotion. You're just trying to search for cheap promotes, cheap Spotify promotion or something on Google or uh, DuckDuckGo or something. And you're just trying to save a buck. Mm -hmm. What's well, going to cost you from this article? Cause they're looking for people to take down. Right. And as history shows, um, they they really don't pull down any of the bigger artists mm -hmm. that this happens to. So if a bigger artist somehow got a bunch of bot plays on their song, like it, we didn't see them pull any of those people down. Right. Um, back I think it was like January of this year. They started to just randomly pull people's songs down. And the bad part about it is that they were inaccurate. Right. In their takedowns of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's. Do your research. Look at our, like I said, our videos are free. The articles are free. Uh, we really didn't hold back on them. It was like, here's all of our steps that we take to evaluate because we have a Spotify network, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll run ads to playlists uh, that we have and other people's playlists. And whenever we look at other people's playlists and how they've grown, like we, we know the patterns, right? Right. Because we run <clears throat> probably more playlisting ads than anybody's, anybody else. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe besides Spotify itself, but I'm sure record labels have spent more money than we have on different types of marketing. But in terms of the number of playlist ads, yeah, um, 
Maybe besides the big three, you're talking Filter, uh, Digster, and can't think of the other one, Top Supply. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the big, those three, if you guys see those playlists on Spotify, those are owned by major labels. Mm -hmm. um, but besides those guys, pretty sure we've run the most playlisting ads. Yeah. Um, so that's why we know how these things will look. Mm -hmm. We Most of our web traffic comes from SEO, so that's how we know how SEO traffic is going to look. Um. Yeah, like these don't don't get caught doing doing the bot bot stream stuff. Yeah. Um, and this is not like a pitch for our service or whatever. But yeah, like a, a lot of people by now, um, just because we know the search patterns and whatnot. A lot of people by now are using us. It's pretty much between us. Or it's between a few yeah. uh, the independent companies. Mm -hmm. Um, but. It's because like we we walk people through how do you spot this bad stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, how do we provide more value? Um, so, well, first of all, thank you guys for continuing to use the service. Yeah, um, and it it can only get better um, because a lot of the the bad actors or the people providing bot plays will be you know taken down. Yeah. Um, so, uh, with that said, if you are if if you found yourself using a bad service, just stop using them. Thanks. I say I, I wouldn't say to worry as as much, but just stop using them, mm -hmm. um, and either try to focus on your Facebook and Instagram ads, Google ads, uh, any of the stuff we mentioned. You can do some playlisting, even with the playlisting though. We're always transparent with this too. Mm -hmm. We really don't advise spending more than fifteen or twenty percent. Right, like right. fifteen to twenty percent of your total budget can go towards playlisting right now. Mm -hmm. If you see it doing better than your sales funnel, um, then you can allocate a little bit more towards it. But mm -hmm. again, you are not making all your money back through Spotify royalties. Mm -hmm. You need mm -hmm. to have an actual business plan. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, I don't really see an impetus to why they're, they're saying this, uh, but that's, that's what I can gather yeah. out of the whole thing. Yeah, that's good, makes sense.